Hey guys, uh, just jumping in. This is a little bit of an impromptu video. Uh, I'm finally started with my weekend and a little bit more awake and having a little bit more time to play. I jumped out of my station here. I am still stuck out in stain. I was literally looking for a wormhole. And of course, I'm running into more places I can get. And if I'm not mistaken, this is... There is a data site right outside of... Um, the station here and I just scanned it down and it is an improved Sancha covert research facility um, and if I'm not mistaken with that uh, it is one of the data sites that can be very lucrative but is defended um, I think I might have done a video on this a while back I'm not hundred percent sure uh, basically when you warp into these, um, they will spawn, uh, th there will be a couple of canisters that you can decrypt, um, and they will spawn uh, defenders uh, that will show up right afterward. Um, now, I want to get to this right away, and then once I get done with it, maybe I'll pull up a web page to actually show you what comes on. Now I could very easily die. The most important thing with these are that um, when you do warp into them, um, when you go after the canister you only get one try and if you die to, uh, you get one try to open it. If you don't get the encryption, if the encryption goes bad, then um, the canister will blow up, most likely taking you out. Uh, at the same time, when you do warp in, a, a random timer starts going off. I'm, I'm not, and I'm, that's why I want to pull up the site afterward, because I, I keep meaning to look it up, but I, I want to take the chance this time, because I'm an idiot. Um, a random timer will go off where uh, bad guys will show up within 30 seconds or a minute or three minutes. I think it's a random total timer that will try to destroy you and basically one-shot kill you. Now, when they show up, you if you're already hacking one of the boxes, you can't warp away from the box because if you warp away from it, it will blow up because you will lose the decryption. So, um, I've done this in the past, um, and if you just get unlucky, sometimes you get unlucky. But you have to uh, keep your wits about you. Um, don't be uh, worried too much about getting the most expensive thing there. Most of the boxes are the same. If you get a chance to scan one or two down, go for the one that's worth the most. Um, but it's usually well worth it to go after it here. Now, I only have a basic relic scanner. And a basic, actually, I just need a data scanner. Data analyzer, basic of that. My skills are a little bit better than they used to be. But we're going to get some go-go juice in. And hopefully I'm right about what this is, and I'll show you how to tell if it is one um, just really quickly whenever I warp to it here. So we're going to go ahead and warp. Okay, so here where it says they're extremely dangerous and any crew found alive ensuing blah 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 blah. So as soon as it says incre increasingly dangerous and it, if it doesn't say anything about a data analyzer is helpful, then that is going to be one of these. So I may get a little bit quiet or I may get a little bit loud. I'm going to go right after the one that's closest to me. Let's go after the mainframe here. I'm going to pump my micro warp drive once. I'm going to lock that down. Now the biggest thing here is when I overshoot this uh, mainframe, if it goes over 500, 5,000 meters, yep, it's worth 53,000. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Try to get this done. Come on. There we go. Take your time. Good. Got that. Now, if guys show up, you basically don't want to freak out. Just keep doing your scanning. Get back over here. There. There it is. Get those, loot that, warp away. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. Okay. 
And we are done. Ha! Whew! Okay. So, uh, now if I remember correctly, what I want to do is see if... Now, what I'm doing is directionally scanning. I don't know if this will show um, the bad guys that showed up. Uh, just waiting... I might have to have had a different overview up. Long story short, um, right now, probably their defense fleet is showing up. Oh, jeez. Did I? Please tell me I looted that. Yes, I did. Whew. Oh, my gosh. I'm so stupid. Oh, my gosh. I'm so stupid. I still had the loot from my last run from yesterday in here. If I would have died, I would have had 140 million isk from yesterday and my stuff from today gone. Oh my gosh. Oh, I am so stupid. And so lucky. Whew. Okay. D scan. Okay. Let's get docked up. Okay. Oh, uh, last but not least, if I pull up my probe scanner now, now it's still sitting there. What will end up happening is, you know, if you normally do a data site, it will sit there until all the boxes are gone. Once the uh, defense fleet warps in and then warps away, even if only one box is done, um, it will, the site will go away. So, um, just, I might have been able to get another box here, but thank goodness I didn't try. Boy, that is one of the dumbest things I've ever done. I don't know why I still had that stuff in my... Yep, see right there, it's gone. So the convert the defense fleet, <clears throat> and I'll have to adjust my overview to check out for bad guys. Um, the site is gone, but I got about 50 million isk right off of that, and whew, whew, the adrenaline rush is up there. So, um, let me just get this stuff dropped off before I do anything else. I am so stupid. So, basically, in the last three days but i've only been able to play a very small amount about an hour each day plus the 10 minutes that i just started today so a little bit over two hours i've gotten just trying to find a wormhole that's all i'm trying to do is find a wormhole out of here um i've been able to get 194 million esc off of the stuff here select all let's get this stuff dropped off there we go Whew. Okay, I'll take it. So, um, what I'm going to start doing is just flying around. Um, and we're going to try to find a wormhole. There are three sites next to me. Um, I'm going to go scan those down in the system next to me in RV5. I have not checked to see. There might be people in there. Uh, but I'm going to try to find a wormhole there. If not, I will continue to do so but i'll shut off the video so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me scan down everything if there's something cool and interesting that's in this system i'll do the same i'll uh, do that so we'll just do one system and then i'm just going to keep playing and i i would like to get out of stain and get back to high sec but this has been very lucrative for literally the amount of time i've been able to play um because of work and everything okay Oh, shoot. I left my sister probes over there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I'm an idiot. All right. I got so... You guys probably saw it. I got so um, uppity about getting done, getting that loot dropped off. I forgot that I do need your core probes to actually scan things down. da 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 <laughs> Just to tell you how I pick my stations to stop in, since I have such a really bad short-term memory, i.e. probes left in the station, I actually look for the station that looks different from the other ones. This one said Minmitar Military versus Kaldari and Kaldari. So it's easier to remember that that's the one that I'm at. That's the only choice that I made there. I really did not care where I was dropping this stuff off at. Now, there's other reasons why you would pick stations. 
But at this point, that's all I'm looking for. I don't know how I pick my random... I should get a 10-sided um, like die or a 6-sided die for which station, which planets I warp to. Um, okay, where are my... There's my probes. Right at the top. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's get back out of here. A nice little blueprint there, too. Now, don't think I'm going to be leaving this stuff out in um, stain, the stuff that I'm leaving there. What I'll end up doing is if I do find a route out of here through a wormhole, I'll make sure that the wormholes are um, uh, stable, and then I'll just work my way back and then work my, work my way out. So uh, one thing that I wanted to bring up and this isn't a hint of the day. Maybe the hint of the day is a whole covert ops thing. Um, I did just read earlier today that the head of the Goon Swarm um, Imperium, the Imperium um, group, and please, I may butcher this a bit. I'm not up on their rankings and things, but the guy who's in charge of it, the Matani, is uh, actually stepping away from the game. Or stepping down from being in charge of Goonswarm. Alright, let's go to a safe spot here. Doop -doop -doop. I should have loaded those in. Um, and if any of you know the history of it, I did read his uh, goodbye letter. Um, it actually hit me a little bit. Now, uh, please understand, <laughs> the Mitanni is well known for uh, being very political and writing the perfect things up. He's been playing the game, from what I've read about it, over 17 years. He's been in charge of the largest um, alliance slash corporation in the game for quite some time. Um, they basically defended themselves against a lot of people who didn't like them for good reason, I think, or, or good reason on their point. Um, last year, when I got, first got back into the game, um, against multiple, multiple alliances um, and was able to come out ahead. He's also um, been in other wars. Um, and oh, that is the hint that I'm going to do. Uh, let me just pull up while we're doing this here. There is a great video. And this is an older video, but it's really one of those videos, if you haven't seen it, most people have. It's a great documentary on one of the first, or at least in the, the up until last year's war, one of the biggest wars that was out there. Um, let me just get into YouTube here, and I will just show you this, and I will let you guys watch it if you want to. And it'll give you a good history about the Mitanni and... Um, Goon Swarm, and really everybody who is involved in how a lot of the grudges that have been out there, of course I'm still going to try to scan while I'm doing this. Um, hopefully this is it. Four. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to pause this here. Um, don't really need that picture on there. Let's get the volume down. Played out the com commercial there. Um, it was the Fountain War. Um, a fellow did a video about seven years ago, which I have actually watched multiple times. It, it's one of those videos I pull up every, um, every six months or so. And I just watch it because it's so well written. Um, and it can really get people into the uh, the jazz of um, Eve Online. Um, watch this be another covert site. If it is, I'll freak out. Um, I just want a wormhole. That's all I want. Do this again. If I get a second wor covert site, that you'll go months without getting a wormhole site. Okay. So this is the video here. It's called The Fountain War, A History of Gaming's Biggest War. Obviously, it's been watched a few times. 1.5 million views. Might be the most watched E! video ever. 
But if you've never watched this, I would suggest you watch it. It's really cool. And that goes into what I was talking about earlier. Okay, that's a survey site. We can do that later on. Um, just one wormhole. Um, but that goes into what I was talking about earlier was the... Uh, I need to get my ranges up there. Okay. Um, the Matani has announced that he, he is standing down from the Goon Swarm. And um, that is a major development because um, it is the largest alliance in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe the most powerful alliance in the game. Um, doesn't say that he's stepping away from the game, just that he's stepping away from... Gosh darn it, another money-making spot. I'm not joking. This has never happened to me. Um, and... It goes along with something I read two or three months ago, which I never understood, but is so huge in the idea of Eve. And it talks about... Never understood. People always talked about how much Eve is a PvP game. And um, I always viewed Eve as being PvP, or not being PvP, PvE and PvP, and this is two layered. Somebody brought up in one of the comments of one of my videos the other day that PvP is not just trying to kill the other guy; it's also evading people, which is a lot of what I do, and it's what got me into the whole scavenging in Tama thing, and I'm still doing it. Um, but and it, it is a hundred percent. And ever since he told me that, it has really given me more of an appreciation. But on a second level, and this is where the Matani comes into game, I also watched a video where somebody talked about how Eve is not about... Um, most games, your bad guys are created by um, the company, your NPCs. Eve, as you get bigger and badder in the game, um, the the worst your the your uh, people who are the toughest things in the game are other players. Eve is structured in a way that the better and better you get, the longer and longer you play, the more and more involved you will become with other people and how they become the problem or the, the thing to overcome versus doing a level 4 or level 5 mission or doing one of the events. Um, and so that is, and if anything, the Matani is the epitome of that. Um, if you watch that video that I sent, that was 7 years ago, and he is still... Um, the top dog on that. Now, whether or not you like him or not, I have no lefts or rights because I have no interaction with my type of gameplay other than watching the Goon Swarm fly by and go with my cloak up. Um, <laughs> but just like I do with the Pandemic Horde and any other big guys. But I have an utmost respect for someone who can do that for so long. And, yeah, I make my videos every day or every other day, but I've only been doing this for about a year, and he has to wake up every single day and control his corporation and that sort of thing. And um, so just big news there, um, really amazing. It's kind of an end of an era. Now there's been some uh, other articles that say that maybe he's just moving to the side for a little while, while he controls it from behind the scenes because he doesn't play a whole lot anymore. Um, that really doesn't matter to me. Um, what does matter to me is how is the game going to react? Um, and I th it is really feeding into my overall concept of the way Eve is starting to move toward. I'm hoping that it's moving toward. Um, and that's about that. So I'm going to wait and see. Another relic site. Are you kidding me? Okay, so um, really this was just an impromptu video. Um, I'm just going to post this as soon as I can, and then I'll try to make another one later on tonight if I'm still playing, 
where I get through the wormholes. Um, but I wanted to make talk about two things. Uh, uh, just because I saw the covert site, I wanted to show you that, but then also talk about the Matani and give him his props. Whether you like him or you don't like him, uh, his presence in the game, I think, has changed it in no so many ways and made it so much more interesting um and hopefully there's more matanis out there and hopefully he'll come back or do something different or maybe he'll just come fly out and be a scavenger like the rest of us Alrighty, that's all i got fly safe fly dangerously fly however you want and i'll talk to you later Bye bye